Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't posted anything on here for a little while, and uh, and that's because I've been having some frustration. I don't know whether you ever have some of those times when you get frustrated with technology and nothing seems to work, and and uh, I've been preparing over the last few months a lot of video to go on here. I had a wonderful trip to the Flinders Ranges with a friend. I've got lots of video ready to go, but trying to get it up onto YouTube has been a bit of a challenge for me. My trouble is I'm running too many computers, I think, at all different <clears throat> levels of software, and sometimes things don't seem to be compatible with other things. And then I was, I was doing a lot of video using my phone, which I'm back again today using, because that was all clogged up, and I didn't have much space on that, so I've, I think I've made a bit of room for to be able to do these YouTube videos on here now, which I think really is probably the best way to do YouTube videos is using your phone. It's so convenient and so easy. But, however, <clears throat> so I've been having lots of things happening and not going too well with the technology, but I have been doing very well with getting some uh, new camera acquisitions, you know. Um, a lot of people suffer from gas, gear acquisition syndrome. I have a bit of that problem. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, But I've done very well lately. One of my prizes that I um, recently got in a second-hand shop in uh, the Riverland of South Australia, uh, I'll show you in a minute, but I've just been on a uh, three-day shoot, well, a three-day holiday, three holiday with some friends of ours in Goa, which is in South Australia's um, south, um, nice beach area, resort area. It's where the Murray River comes to the sea there. And we were staying there for three days until... Wednesday when we were coming back and then we got told that there was another serious lockdown happening because of the COVID. Well now this afternoon we've been told that that's being lifted as from tomorrow night so then we are able to go outside and walk again and and do a few normal things again. So uh, that's a welcome relief but there's been a, a bit of an outbreak recently in Adelaide when we didn't have any cases for years or not years for months. However, <clears throat> so one of the great things that I got recently, I've, I've scored a few film cameras. I love all my old film cameras and I've scored a few lately like Minolta's and Practica's and also this one here which is the Konica. Uh, I don't know whether I've shown you this before in another YouTube video but maybe I did but this is <coughs> the Konica Auto Reflex TC and it has the famous 40 millimeter 1.8 compact lens on it and uh, on the last uh, few days when we were in this um, Riverside Town and Resort, I had much fun using my Canon 600D and 700D, but also at the same time I was using this, taking sh landscape shots and close-ups of buildings and things, um, <clears throat> at the same time as, as um, I was using the, um, the digital cameras. And um, I've nearly finished two rolls of 36 colour film in, in the camera, but it was just such a, a pleasant... Uh, experience to wind it on it's wound on now at the moment click the shutter compose um, it's got a light meter in it I'm not quite sure exactly how it works it's sort of semi-automatic this camera <clears throat> but I was just guessing the exposures and using the sunny 16 rule and because I had some beautiful bright sunshine in front of me there or coming from behind me <clears throat> and also um, I've got a little light meter built into my um, uh, iPhone as well, which I find to be quite accurate. So I had a lot of fun taking shots I can't wait to put them into the film lab now and get those back and then hopefully I'll be able to show them to you What I have been doing in the last few days. I have been posting photos from that trip to uh, Goa or um, <clears throat> down um, Middleton and um, Port Elliot is the other other place we went I took some nice photos there um, I have been posting them on my Flickr account and also a little bit on, on my blog. But I'll give you a link. Um, it's, there's a link to Flickr in the top right hand above the um, banner on my YouTube channel that you can link to my Flickr photos. So I post a lot of photos on Flickr, the ones that I like the most. And uh, I got some really nice shots of some birds um, while I was down there. One bird, I've been trying to get photos of it for years, which is the Australian reed warbler. Everywhere you go in Australia where there's rivers and marsh and reeds, you hear these birds, they're beautiful little birds, but they are so elusive you can't photograph them hardly. 
and for the last 30 years I've been trying to get a shot, not that I've actually sat down in a hide or anything, <clears throat> for, for about the last 30 years I've only ever had two fleeting glimpses of them that I've captured on film or on digital. Anyway, uh, the other day I was sitting, it's a purpose-built bird hide just down near where we were staying, over this reed beds and, and lagoon and everything, and you could hear these little birds everywhere. And amazingly enough, <clears throat> I got some really good shots. So, um, well, not that many, but good shots compared to when you can't hardly get any shots of them at all. So I got them, and uh, they're on my Flickr account. And also the other bird that we saw on the, the Gulwa has has a, a protected area with the river there and the what they call the barrage. And then uh, there's a, an ocean beach which is open on the other side of the sand hills. We've got these huge big waves coming in and lots of wading shorebirds, and we saw on the shore um, four Australian pied oyster catchers. I'd never seen them before, but I got some nice photos. You'll see them on Flickr as well, taking them on my standard telephoto zoom, 300mm telephoto zoom that I got with my 600D originally. Some of the shots are reasonably good, some because I haven't got a really fancy long zoom um, lens which is ideal for bird taking I just use what I've got um, but I was quite pleased with the shots I got there was also a Pacific gull there which is quite a big uh, gull uh, which you don't normally see down around Adelaide where I live but down the south coast you do see them and over on the west coast you see them as well so I had a lot of fun with this camera I also got this beautiful uh, zoom lens which is also a Konica zoom lens it is a um, what is it now it is a 200 mil f it's not a zoom sorry it's a set telephoto lens a 200 mil and it's a f 1.35 Konica Tokina sorry this is a Tokina lens it's not a Konica one but it's designed to go with that camera so the um, the um, automatic aperture thing works in this as well. But that's a beautiful lens. I've researched both these lenses on the internet and they're quite popular and sought after. So there you go. I got um, the lens and the camera, the two lenses and the camera for a total of $35. The actual um, little uh, pancake lens only cost me eight dollars Australian which was pretty amazing really because these go for a lot more than that around the place but anyway it's a beautiful experience when you look through this this 40 millimeter for landscapes it's a little bit um, closer than 35 mil but it's not 50 mil and it just seems to be the ideal lens in my opinion for the landscape type of photos I was taking so when I I'm hoping uh, this coming week to get these photos to the film lab and then I'll put them probably up on Flickr so you can have a look so keep a look out for that. So anyway, I'm working on all the, the videos I've got backed up to try and put on here somehow. Flinders Ranges. Um, we went somewhere else, but I forgot. Yeah, we went on some trips on paddle steamers on the River Murray. And uh, that was really good too. So I've got video and stills taken there. So uh, some of those photos are probably on Flickr uh, and on my blog. So there'll be links to those things if you want to have a look. Anyway, it's good to be back talking to you again, and hopefully I'll be able to load this up onto YouTube. And uh, thanks once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if that's what you like to do. And uh, uh, stay safe, everyone, with all the COVID thing. You know, it's, uh, it's out of the blue. This lockdown that we had, we were coasting along going quite well in South Australia and Adelaide, and suddenly, out of the blue, they said for six days, no one's allowed to go anywhere, can't go out the house, one person out of the house to, you know, each day. You can only one person can go to the shop, no walking, no exercising your dog, no nothing hardly. But that's been eased as from this afternoon, as from, uh, well the walking bit has, and from uh, Saturday night at 8 o'clock a lot of the restrictions that I've imposed have been lifted. So hopefully we're out of the woods again, but it was a bit of a scare having sort of coasted along thinking we were doing pretty well with COVID, and suddenly it flared up again. So stay safe everyone, and um, keep shooting, and uh, good to talk to you all. And I'll catch you on the next video. Now I've got to work out if I can turn this off. Here we go. I always have trouble with this.